Today I'm super excited to show you what I've been doing the last couple weeks. This bike! And Sasha here, he's my favorite instructor. This bike is from a company called Yes Soul. Or if you're in the South with me, it's Ye Soul. They were kind enough to send me this bike, so I'm gonna give you a proper review today. This bike that you're seeing is their newest model, and it's the G1 Elephant Bike. It's like a Peloton. This bike is on sale right now for $6.99. I'll put the link in the description box below, as well as a discount code if you're interested. It does come in two separate boxes, so one part is the actual bike, and the other part part is the screen. The bike itself is super easy to put together. It comes really, really well packaged, packaged, packaged really well. All the tools are included and actually all the screws are already where they need to be. So this is not some Ikea furniture. Screw here, this, turn left, put a sticker here. So if you're kind of like me, where putting things together is not, um, you just can't do it, you can handle this. Now how the machine works is all through your phone. So you download the Yesol app, looks like this, this little unicorn red horse thing. When you buy the bike, it does include one year of membership. After that, the membership fee is $10 a month. It doesn't have any tiers, like for example, Peloton has the basic package that starts at $12 a month, and then the all access package is $44 a month. So there's not that tier system, it's $10 all in. You can absolutely ride this bike without any kind of app access. You you can keep track of your stats on something like an Apple Watch or a Fitbit. I haven't tried this feature yet, but it does do YouTube and it connects to the Peloton app. Obviously the most noticeable feature about the bike is the screen. It's a 32 inch screen. You can adjust this and rotate it. This would be for when you take a yoga or a strength class because you don't want the bike in your way when you're doing that. The quality of the screen isn't as crisp when you're comparing it to your actual TV, your viewing TV, but I do like the size because it makes you feel like you're actually in the room with the instructor instructor at the same time. The bike has little wheels on the front so you can pick it up and move it around. This little spinny wheel, this is how you adjust the intensity. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. On the screen it's going to reflect what percentage you're at. It goes from zero, which is nothing, no resistance, to 100, which, um, yeah, I can't do that. The seat here is adjustable. It goes up and down, forward and back. If you're worried about noise, if you're in a top apartment, for example, the bike itself, as far as the pedaling, is very quiet. Now, as far as the instructor and the music, the speaker is behind the screen, and that does get really loud. I believe you can hook it up to headphones, though, if you need to. The foot part is adjustable, so you can adjust how tight you want it. You don't have to have cycling shoes for this, but I do think it would be more enjoyable for the ride if I'm going really, really fast, really getting it, especially doing something some of these up and down movements on the bike, my shoe slips out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and invest in some cycling shoes because I've proven to myself that I can stick with it. I'm doing one of their challenges right now though with a group of other people. I just will not lose, but I'll keep you updated on the shoes. You can put your water bottle or your phone here. There's two little sides. And on the back here, it actually comes with weights. One kg, so two pounds, right? I have it on this gym mat for my home gym. If you're really getting at it, it does wobble a little bit, so I think it would be better on a carpeted surface or a yoga mat. Plug is on the back end right here. And it's gonna pop up this. Hello! You're gonna go back to your app because again, everything is controlled from the phone. This is not a touch screen. So you actually can't control anything from the screen. Everything has to be done from a smart device. You can use your iPad, phone, whatever. Several things to do. You can just ride, which is just free riding. If you wanted to listen to your own music or watch your own video, it's gonna keep track of your resistance, how many miles, the calories you've burned. There's scenic rides if you want to ride in a town, France, Switzerland, Switzerland, Forest, New Zealand, all that jazz. My personal favorite is to ride with an instructor or to take a class. These are the classes that have actual instructors that you can ride with. You can join a live class as well, but I just do the pre-recorded ones. I like all the instructors so far, but my favorite is this guy named Sasha. I love his energy. He's got a very pleasant cadence and he has a positive message in all of his workouts, kind of hidden in there. And it just makes you feel better about yourself. I don't know if you've ever taken an actual spin class with someone and the instructor's like yelling at you. It's not as intense as the ones that I have taken in person because obviously they don't know your name to yell at you, Brittany, get on the bike. And they always explain what they're doing, which is nice because I don't have a whole lot of bike experience. I've taken a few classes at my local gym and they just weren't for me. I did not like being in a crowded room with all the people. The instructor was yelling at everyone by name and it just made me very, very nervous. This is nice because nobody's yelling at me and I'm in control of the outcome more so by myself. And I have this instructor to keep me accountable and all the stats are on the screen. So the instructor does walk you through it because there are times in these workouts where 
where you're getting up or you're doing these push-ups on the handlebars and it's like where do you put your hands the instructor is constantly talking which I love because I don't want any moment of silence because then I'm thinking okay I can quit now we're having a quiet time let's just get off this bike the instructor keeps talking the whole time it's a little bit about the workout how to do it it's a lot of encouraging and then some personal stories or just motivation bits feels like you're talking to a friend and you don't have time to think about what time is it or I think I'm gonna quit or what am I doing after this you're kind of just in the moment not really sure how they do that how they're working out and having a full-on 30-minute conversation no idea you can also join challenges there's a season self-discipline challenge over 2,000 people are in it, 10 days left. This is just an accountability group. You can also set your own goals within the app because at the beginning you will put in your stats, your height, your weight, your goals, and it will help tailor a schedule for you on what your goals are. Do you just want to burn fat? Do you want to gain muscle? Like what is your goal? You do burn a lot of calories on this bike. The last class I took was HIT with Sasha. According to my Apple Watch, which they're not always accur accurate, it was about 220 calories. For example, when I'm doing weightlifting at the gym, I maybe burn about 100 100 calories in the same amount of time. Now, although the movements are a lot slower, but if you're looking for a fast way to burn calories, get on this thing, then get in the sauna afterwards, you're good to go. The cool part about this bike is if you don't want to bike at all, you can flip the screen and do some of their yoga classes or even some of their strength training classes. These are much similar to the follow along instructor bike rides where you're having an instructor coach you through the whole program. For my final thoughts on the bike, I really actually enjoy it, which is kind of unexpected because I'm not a big cardio fan, but it's been really fun for me. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. That's it, so I'll see you Sunday.